Hello everybody, this is Rasul Chuma speaking, the founder and the author of the iconic scalping forex specialist. Yeah, I know it's been a while guys that we have met here and today we have finally came back. And this time around guys, I'm so excited that we have finally reached our 1000 subscribers that we have all been waiting for. It's been a while and obviously this time around guys, I'm back with something bigger and better. Today we're just going to be dealing with price action, price action, price action. And if you are new to the channel, guys, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments below and make sure you share the video, share the link with your friends and family so that they can also get to catch up with our Forex tutorials, right? So on this video, guys, I'm just going to be basically teaching you on how to catch spikes as usual on boom and crash like we always do ne? yeah so one thing that i want us to look into this time around i want us to look into the market and um then this way i want us to look into the market using bigger time frames instead of smaller time frame because i've realized that most people they lose their money in the market because they only try but it means to focus on smaller time frames because they believe in sniper entries and they believe that Snapper entries only comes or you're only going to be able to see snapper entries when you're using smaller time frames of which is not true of which is not going to be um, possible for you to get snapper entries all the time. But what we can just try to do is try to get entries that will earn you money all the time. So we are on it, guys. This is boom 300, right? So that's what I want us to look into, guys. When we are on the charts, okay, when we are on the charts. Let me just delete this. When we are on the charts, I want us to always be looking at, okay, fine. This is boom, boom 300. Obviously on boom, if you want to catch spikes, we have to look at conditions which would allow us to buy, right? Because we're trying to catch spikes. So what I want us to look into, I want us to look for situations whereby we had, we had both candlesticks, the bearish and the bullish candlestick. They have to go together, okay? They have to be a pair of a bearish and a bullish candlestick pair, which makes a pair, right? That's what you're just going to be looking for on the market throughout, right? And then having understood that, I would want you to also understand that when we are dealing with the strategy, guys, I would want you to master the fact that the candlestick which is going to be on the right all the time has to be a bullish candlestick. The fact that we're talking about the bull, the, the boom instrument means that all the time you're just going to be trying to buy obviously the candlestick which has to come on the right side has to be a bullish candlestick and that bullish candlestick make sure that all the time those bullish candlestick if it's bigger than the bearish candlestick then obviously when the market comes back to the same price then it has to go away it has to go up right now uh, i might not be able to 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 cover up this uh, tutorial in full details but those who are always going to be following me will also have uh, access or be able to learn much more about the strategy as you can see guys from here we were looking at these two candlesticks right and then we decided that we are going to put our horizontal line where these candlesticks both of them where they ended and then what other thing that we did look at is the fact that the candlestick which is on the right had to be bigger than the one which is on the left which this one has to be a bullish candlestick like i've said <clears throat> and then what happens right here right this is what we're looking at so when the market is like this you mark where this candlestick ends né? and then next time when the market comes to that same level this is where you're going to buy right this is where you're going to buy all the time when the market comes back dropping down to the same level that you had previously marked that's where you're going to enter. Immediately, once you enter, remember we are under one hour time frame, right? So look at this. Once the market drops back to the same level, look at what happened. The market had to go up, right? This is what is going to happen all the time when you see this thing that I'm talking about right here, right? I'll talk much more into detail on the next video on which condition to be very careful of when you are trading with the strategy. Well, guys, um... The other thing that I want you to also take note of is that uh, this 
technique will only work if you are not trading against the market patterns. The market patterns, I'm talking about the M formations and the W formations. One might ask why this condition did not work somewhere around this point because we had uh, a bullish candlestick which was bigger than the one which is on the left, meaning that uh, we could have had um, the opportunity to enter right there. I mean, it's, it's obvious, guys, it's obvious. From this point to that point, that marked the first leg of M formation, right? And then from this point to that point, it also marked, um, it also marked a condition which told us that the market was going to drop down to fulfill or to complete the second leg of M formation, which the first one came from this part. That is why if we could have entered right there, we would have lost our trade. But if you know the market patterns, this strategy should give you all what you want from the market right now look at this also right here before it could form before it could form before it could form the the, the information look at this one we had the same candlestick that we're looking for the one which is on the right was bigger than the one which is on the left right there right and then what could we have done here we could have placed our horizontal line there and then when the market came back what we could have done there is that we could have just placed our trade right there a buy trade and the market would have went up and also here, you see, the same thing, the same candlestick right there. You see, you could have just marked them right there. And then look at what happened. You just place it there, then look at what happened. The market came back. When the market came comes back to the same level or the same price that you had marked previously, the market will always have to respect you and give you what you want all the time. We can take a look at all these instruments and you'd notice that the same thing that I'm teaching you right now is the same thing that you always see, right? We had the same condition right, right here. It's gonna be it's gonna be crazy that I'm exposing this thing to you. It's gonna be crazy when you now get to open your real account and try out this thing because guys, this thing does work, and this is the same thing that I've been doing for more than two years now. And the game. So look at this guy. We could have actually got our snipe entry right there. Right there. Only because we have we have we had marked this position. We had marked this position. When the market came back to this point, what we could have done, we could have got our snipe entry. Look at this. You enter right there, you place your trade right there. Instantly the market goes up. You see, you are in profit. Remember? Despite the fact that you might try to use different lot sizes. As long as you've got those entries, you know it's obvious that all the time you're just going to be hitting the market right, left, and center. You see, this This is it. This is it again here. This is it again here. You enter, and then the market has to always respect you. You enter, the market has to respect you. You had marked it right there, right? When the market came back to that same position right here, you could have just took your trade right there, buy right there, and then the market went down a little bit and then started spiking, going up. And giving you what you wanted né? all the time. This thing, guys, works on all instruments be it bone 500, be it bone 1000, all the time. This is what's gonna work for you throughout, right? This is what's gonna work for you throughout, right? I might have marked this one. Okay, fine. Let me uh, for okay, fine. Let me just erase everything here so that you can see clearly. I see right here we had that same condition right there very simple guys these things are very simple these things are very very simple you see right there we had marked it and then when the market came back to the same position or to the same price what we could have just got there we could have just got our entry right there and then the market would have went up remember the candlestick which is on the right if you are considering the buying condition it has to be bigger than the one which is on the left all the time and then the other thing, this thing, guys, it works on all instruments. This strategy works on all instruments, right? We can go to crash, try to check up if what I'm saying really applies there, right? Let's check if what I'm saying really applies there. Now, this time around, we are going to have to talk about the candlesticks, which are going to be on the right. But this time around, it will obviously have to be a bearish candlestick because now when it comes to crash we are trying to consider the fact that we are going to be selling all the time so the candlestick which is on the right 
has to be bearish and it has to be bigger than it has to be bigger than the one which is on the left the one which is on the right has to be bigger than the one which is on the left right i'm seeing the same thing that i'm looking for right here the one which is on the on the left is bigger than the the one which is on the right i mean the one which is on the left is bigger than the one the one which is on the right is bigger than the one which is on the on the left sorry about that yeah the one which is on the right is bigger than the one which is on the left so when it's like that what do you do you mark it yeah this is the same thing that i teach on my mentorship guys this is the same thing that i teach on my mentorship and if you've been following me you'd realize that i'm one person who signals work quite well my signals guys uh, i mean <laughs> those signals guys those signals guys they work ne? see this now even if sometimes you won't get that much profit you're always going to get something if you are going to be considering those conditions that i'm that i've just showed you you just see right there you just enter immediately after entering you get your your spikes right remember this is one hour time frame so this spikes guys were enough to raise a, a 30 dollar account i would i'd would, I would, I would always advise you to actually start on at least a 30 dollar account at least if you want to be a successful trader guys there's no need for you to always be trying to raise five dollar or ten dollar account it's a waste of time it's a waste of time of course yes it's possible you can raise your account but most of the time guys uh -uh, stop wasting time and energy please because raise, having to raise an account which is very small guys it requires much more time it requires much more attention you see uh, right there the candlestick which is on the right was bigger than the one which is on the left let's see what happened let's see what happened let's see what happened right there right there remember guys what i just said at the beginning of this 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 tour i did mention that if you are going to trade against the market patterns that is when the strategy will not work i repeat that is when the strategy will not work my name is the iconic scalping specialist i'll be back again guys very soon to talk much more about the strategy in full details for now, let me just leave you here for you to enjoy everything. Enjoy the classes that I'm just going to be offering. Enjoy everything. And by the way, guys, those of you who are from Botswana, please know that we are now, we are now Deriv Payment Agent. So if you need funds, just holler at me. I'll be able to help you. And starting from June, I'll be open for mentorship. I'll be fully open for the mentorship, guys. We'll be offering mentorship. We'll be offering signals. We'll be offering everything that you can think of. Till we meet again, guys, on the next video, remain focused. And don't forget to share, like, and comment on this video, guys. Your Support is highly appreciated. Please don't disappoint me, guys. Don't disappoint me, guys. Don't forget about the market patterns, guys. If you go against the market patterns, the market will always go big against you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. For now, it's a goodbye from me, myself, and I. I'll see you guys. Price action will pay you. Remember.